you go in the living room, sometimes you have to wait for your buddy, and uh, you had this one room that we called it the Den of Perversion. And it was, uh, that was a room where he did all his stuff, and it was pretty dirty and disgusting. Edward Savitz, the man known as Fast Eddie or Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie out of Philadelphia. When he was arrested, you know, they um, got to search this storage locker he had, Howard. I guess these young boys who have been selling him their underwear for 20 years would like to know that Eddie valued it and kept every piece. Yes. They found 187 trash bags filled with soil underwear. You're kidding. No. So in the city back in the 1970s, it was like Gotham City, with the exception of Batman was on vacation. He was a magnet for troubled kids. In 1976, I met Eddie Savage. 1988 is the year I went down there. I was 16. It, was, it seemed very innocent at the time. At the age of 15, 14, 15 years old, it, it seemed very innocent. Really, it did. If you need a few bucks, let's go to Fast Eddie. Wherever he was going to be that night, there would be at least 30 or 40 kids. Always had boys with him at work, at home, at, you know, wherever he went, he was, he was occupied with arranging, scheduling. They said at the time it was hundreds or thousands. I was working with a group of seven students, and one of the kids said we should tell him about um, Uncle Eddie. The man they're calling Uncle Ed is Ed Savitz, a businessman infected with AIDS, who prosecutors say may have solicited sex or sexual acts for kids. It wasn't very long after his arrest that, that uh, the authorities had said he had AIDS. Philadelphia AIDS hotline. Hundreds, I think it was, uh, in, the, in the first hours that, that, uh, that contacted the AIDS hotline. He never told anybody he had AIDS, you know? I mean, it was a routine for a lot of kids. That, you know, every, every you know, once a week or something, I would go see Fast Day. Eddie Savage was, we were supposed to do a thing called kid swapping, which is child sex trafficking. They kept talking about Coach Jerry. If Sandusky came to Philly, he'd bring some kids. He'd bring kids and they'd swap with kids. the host and vice versa. Yeah, they thought it was weird, but nobody thought it was wrong and nobody didn't go back. 